Hey guys, what's up? This is J Rod. Just wanted to make a video about this uh, ammunition that I have uh, actually been stocking up on and ordering. And this is 762 by 39. And I ordered this ammo online, and this is probably about the cheapest brass cased ammo that you can get for 762 by 39 you got an arsenal and you also got PPU Let's see if I can get a damn box out of here I'm only using one hand <laughs> there we go I'm going to turn it around there you go PPU and um, to be honest with you the PPU was just a bit cheaper than the Arsenal and um, this is probably the cheapest um, ammo you can buy that is brass case just in case you don't have a outdoor range nearby you and you shoot a lot indoors um, the PPU ammunition um, usually runs around I would say, uh, what, probably like about, I don't know if prices have changed, but I remember I got this for about <clears throat> 8 bucks and change. I got this for a bit cheaper, probably about $7 and some change for a box of 20. And um, yeah, it's a bit more expensive than your regular wolf and brown bear or silver bear or any of the bears and uh, it's a little bit more than wolf or uh, uh, WPA or or any of your uh, steel case Russian ammo um, but I just wanted to make this video because um, even though it was a bit more in cost but it was much cheaper than spending <clears throat> than spending about ten dollars or more for a box of 20 for any brass ammo I mean most of the guys that shoot 762 by 39 um, usually shoot the steel case stuff because of cost and I don't blame them like for me you know I have to go ahead and probably drive about 40 minutes or so which is not too bad it's not that bad of a drive it's less than an hour basically and um, I'll be at my nearest outdoor range which is not too bad some guys they they drive more than an hour to go to an outdoor range and um, you know if you you don't have um, you know you don't have an outdoor range nearby you or you think it's not worth the drive or whatever the case may be and you want to shoot the brass ammunition um, I think you should take a look at these two types of uh, two brands of 762 by 39 which is brass case which you could bring in to your indoor range um, not a lot of indoor ranges do the magnet test and uh, they don't allow the steel case stuff and then uh, you know I think you know, in a way, it's kind of like you get pissed off and you're like, that's bullshit. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I just don't want to argue with the fact anymore. And I don't want it to turn into a debate, you know. But they say it damages their backstop or the bullet could go through the backstop or the shit could catch on fire or, um, you know, a whole bunch of other shit. You know what I mean? Then in a way, it's like... Oh, you guys just want to go ahead and, and uh, collect uh, collect my brass and sell it back and make more money. You know what I mean? But I just want to make this video just so you guys know. Go ahead and look online and just do your research. I think uh, Cheaper Than Dirt or uh, even uh, I think AmmoToGo.com, they have this uh, brass ammunition for 762 by 39 um, and it's probably the cheapest brass uh, ammo out there for 762x39 that you can get and um, 
<clears throat> you know, fuck it. Why not? Try it. You know what I mean? Go to the range, shoot some of this. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that your AK will eat it up very well. I have a Saiga AK-47 and my Saiga has ate up everything from brass. It ate everything from wolf, golden bear, brown bear. I mean, that son of a gun has ate up everything I fed it. Um, not one hiccup. And it has about uh, 360 rounds to it. And, um, you know, it's just it's just uh, all about training and stuff. I've been busy with daily life and working and spending time with my family. I have been uh, able to go to the range as I wanted to. And uh, there's so many other things. I haven't been able to make so much videos as I wanted to because of just being busy with daily life. I have two kids, two beautiful kids, and you know how it could be. If you understand, you know, you definitely know how it, how life is. You know what I mean? If you don't have kids, you will learn how it is. <laughs> Trust me. But um, just want to make this video and let you guys know that these these two brands of uh, brass case ammo for the 762 by 39 is probably the cheapest that you could get on the market right now. And um, I think it's worth the money, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you don't want to make that long drive out to the outdoor range or you don't have one nearby you. You can buy this ammo, go ahead and stock up. Probably bring about five boxes or more, however much you want to shoot. And um, you could definitely bring this to the range and they will let you shoot it. And they won't have no problem because it's brass. You know, but other than that, you know, you just want to buy it to test it out, go right ahead. But it's, um, definitely both of them are less than 10 bucks a box. Um, I think it's about six to eight bucks a box at the most. At the most. Six to eight bucks a box at the most. For a box of 20. And, um, you know, this is the cheapest that I've found. So. You know, just wanted to spread the word. Right now is the best time to uh, buy ammo, stock up on ammo before the next bullshit incident happens and uh, they try to punish us all. <laughs> uh, just want to hit you guys up with this new video and uh, just want to go ahead and show you the. Uh, how the ammo looks, it's very good looking ammo. It's not that bad. Doing this shit with one hand, so just bear with me. It's not that bad, it's pretty clean looking ammo, as you can see. Nice and clean, very nicely made um, ammo. Um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good brass case ammo definitely uh, definitely not you know piece of shit ammo um, let me go ahead and open up the other box of PPU um, not really no no big difference um, open it up like this there you have okay Let's see if I can slide this shit out <laughs> I don't know I'm just working one hand <clears throat> this is the PPU of course this is a soft point they also have regular full metal jacket like the pointy, uh, the regular pointy point. I'm not too sure if that makes any sense, but whatever. There's a soft point ammunition. Still will shoot. Brass case, nicely made. Uh, let me see. This is soft point. As you can see, it's a SP. That means soft point. through this box right now are all of them soft point oh shit wait a minute we got FMJ right there 
Wait a minute. I got one. See the difference? See right there? It says soft point. SP. Right here. Does not say soft point. Full metal jacket. 123 grain. I'm going to show you this box and show you the uh, difference in a way. Alright. If I could get this out, that would be great. Trying to slide this shit out. So, just bear with me. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. The last one I showed you was a soft point. This is the. Uh, Regular full metal jacket. Nicely, nicely made, very clean brass ammo that you'll get for the money. Uh, PPU is a bit cheaper than the Arsenal, just to let you know. I would say go for it. Stock up on it. If you only live by indoor range that only uh, lets you shoot brass. Go ahead and, and uh, buy some of these boxes and try it out. Why not? It's not gonna it's not gonna kill you at all. Um, I doubt it. You could get it from your local gun shop or you know you could try Cabela's, but I don't. I'm not too sure if they said it there. Um, go online and order from Ammo to Go or uh, cheaper than dirt. They might have it. Um, other than that guys just want to show you the difference you've seen a soft point you've seen a regular full metal jacket you've seen the arsenal uh, nicely nicely well made uh, full metal jacket ammo and um, basically just want to show you guys you know the type of uh, brass ammo that's out there in the market for a 7.62 by 39 that's probably about the cheapest they can get other than that you know go ahead and shoot your wolf and your steel case ammo if you can definitely cost effective anyway guys you guys um, enjoy your day I hope you enjoyed the video of course and I'm out peace